Okay, we're on our second two-year-old. And this filly is really tall and really long. And she has a really hard time being soft in the face, but mainly collecting in her body. What I want her to do is take her back and around her back. And she has a very hard time doing that because she's really really long a lot longer than most horses she's naturally level-headed so i'm not hugely concerned with getting a lot of draw but she does have to soften in the face but more than that and her hardest part is the softening in the face is not where it ends we want that softness through the body and that's where this filly has a very hard time and on top of all of it she wants to get a little mad and um, you're going to see some issues i'm going to go ahead and expose her and show you what to do when you run into those body issues when she says no. Pretty much what happens is I ask her, please come here, and she just flat says no. She doesn't say I'm scared. She doesn't say I don't know how. She says no. And so at that point, then I've really got to kick her and razz her and get after her a little bit and say, listen, don't say no, just try it. Trust me, come with me and try it. So I'm going to talk you through and, and show you kind of where we're at. This filly as well has only had a handful of rides on her. Um, just everything is really hard for her. You hear a lot of times, um, how do you know if a two-year-old's a good one or a bad one? I don't know about good or bad, but I know a lot of stuff is hard for this filly. So I guess I would put her in, in a, the bad category only because it, everything's hard. I've got horses that'll just slide stop with a handful of rides and, and can pick themselves up and do stuff and everything's easy for them. Everything is really hard for this filly and so she would be better off having a, a life that's not in the horse show world where she doesn't have to round up as much. She'd be a great ranch horse, trail horse, but the horse show stuff which is collection and total body control is very difficult for her and so she would be better off doing something else. Otherwise, her whole life, she's just going to hate her job because it's so hard for her. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I mean. So we're going to go back to the jog and go to our circle. It doesn't matter how big or how small your circle is, really. It just matters that you pick one and stick with it. Babies are just like children. They're all about consistency. As long as you're consistent, they'll start to pick it up. So I'm just kind of letting her start to move her feet, go to her circle, and then from there, I'll start to ask for a little bit of collection. There, she's giving in her face actually pretty good right there, and I feel her body coming with her. I'm really having to put her together every stride of the way. She's kind of ducking left and right and here and there. And what she's doing is she's trying to dodge the pressure of putting her body up underneath me. She's going, can I go here? Can I go there? Can I go anywhere but up here? No. I catch her with my legs. And I say, no. You need to stay up underneath my butt. Not dart out to the sides. Stay up underneath me and go forward. Good, so then I'll ask her to come around. My hand goes to my hip. Very good. Okay, so then we'll release. And then go back to it. So she's being really good today so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to the lope. So now she got the wrong lead. That's okay. I'm just going to soften her. Use my outside rein, my outside leg and urge her onto the correct lead. There she got her lead. I'm just letting her kind of find her feet, find the circle. I'm not really collecting her in the face yet. I'm just letting her lope and find that circle. Okay, I'm gonna get past this gate and then I'm gonna go ahead and start asking her for some collection. I'm using my legs, squeezing her forward as I'm bumping her face, asking her to come back. She actually is doing a really good job today. Yesterday, she'd throw her head straight in the air and run off, which was quite fun. But today, she's doing much better. She's taking that pull. She doesn't get really round, but remember, this is a mare there. She threw her head up in there a little bit and resisted. This is a mare that has a very hard time with this. Good girl. Right there, it relaxed a little bit. 
look around, drive her forward. So you'll see her shake her head with every pull. She's just real um, confused of exactly what I want. Right there, that's another thing she likes to do is try to just do the shut off in the middle of anything. Saying, I don't have to do it anymore. Yes, you do. Pull your left rein, drive forward, pull your left rein. You right there where she wants to argue, just pull her around. Instead of going straight across the pin, now her trick colors are coming out. So I'm just continuing to drive her feet forward and soften her face. I don't change anything until she gets soft and then I back off. As soon as she gets soft, I back off. Left rein, drive her forward. There, good girl. Left rein, drive, drive, drive. I'm driving with my hips as much as I am my legs. Just driving her forward. There. Soften her face, pull the left rein. She says no. I say, come on, honey. Come with me. Drive her forward. Continue to pull. There. Then relax. Then left rein. Collection. Drive. Now this is a lot of work. You know, my legs, I do this all day long and my legs are sore from bumping on her. And squeezing and pushing with my hips. But it's what it takes until she starts to relax a little bit and get a little softer and come to that pull. Pull the left rein. This time I'll go ahead and pull her around. Good. Keep your feet moving. Keep your feet moving. Forward motion will always help you unlock these horses. There. Good. So now I'm starting to be able to help her a little less. It might be hard to see on the video, but I'm not kicking her quite as much. When I say kicking, it's probably more of a squeeze and bump. And she's kind of staying a little rounder on her own. I'm not having to pull as much. When I do, she does get soft to that pull, except for right there. There. See, now she's starting to get a little tired. And then she gets lazy instead of better. Come to that left rein. Good. Come to that left rein. Good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and find a place to walk. Drive up. Ooh. Quit riding. Pull my reins right to my hips to help. It's as important right here at the end to kind of finish that softness and make her hold that collection through that stop before you let go. It's as important as it is coming to that pull in that stop, which she did, but make sure you finish it and just let her stand here and hold her afterwards. And then you can let her go. And then pet her and tell her good. So today she's not being too bad. She showed her true colors a couple times where she threw her head in the air. And what she does is reject the pressure. She says, I can't collect. I give up. And you go, no, 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 come back. She goes, I can't. And you go, no, 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 come back. And, it, and you don't punish her too bad about it unless she wants to get nasty and kind of throw a little bit more of a fit. Because she's just a baby. Pull the rein. Use your leg to make her step around. And we're going to go to our circle this way. I cluck, ask her to go. If she goes, that's fine. If she doesn't, I back it up with my feet. Let her find her circle. You can kind of see that she gets a little, little crazy weaving because she's not sure where to be. And the main thing is I want her to say, hey, follow me. I'm the driver. I know where I'm going. That's what you're telling them. And they say, we're not used to having a leader. We're out in the pasture. We do whatever we want. And I say, well, now you're going to follow me. Become a follower. Follow where I want to go and let me help you. Okay? Now I'm going to ask her for some softness. There, good. Pull that inside head right to my hip. Good. Easy. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go to that lope. 
Remember, I'm going to urge her and help her onto that lead with that outside leg and outside rein. First, I'll push her to the rail. Good. She got that lead. Look up to your circle. And just let her find her circle at first. Let her go around. Let her find her feet. She needs to open up a little bit. When horses are in a forward motion, they have less of a tendency to buck. When, when they're not really striding out and going somewhere, if we call it balled up, they could easily just take a hold and buck. I'm much happier going faster than I am slower on a colt. Okay, now I'm going to ask her for some collection. Still keeping that impulsion in her feet. Good, she did a pretty good job. She didn't throw her head in the air and run off. So I pull my right hand to my right hip and go across. My right hand. Hey, right there, she kind of says no. I don't want to come to that rein. Nice. Drive her forward and bump that rein and ask her again. There. Let her go forward. So right there, she wanted to get real confused. Blow her lead. I'm having a hard time getting her to go somewhere. So maybe I need to open my circle up a little bit. So I'll go to a bigger circle so she can keep her feet moving a little more. Still asking for that softness. Good. Now me opening that circle was really important because that's me listening to my horse. The last horse I just got off of was a tiny little horse. And she did that circle no problem. Well this horse is huge and long. And she was telling me that she was having a hard time in that little circle. She was telling me that because she was having a hard time going forward. So I give her a bigger circle to let her go forward right here a little bit more to help her get her feet back under her. Let her go forward. There. Ooh. Softness right at the end. Good. So, this filly had some issues today, um, but didn't have them as bad as she usually has them. She's already pretty tired, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, and hopefully you saw something in her that might be similar to a problem you're having at home, and forward motion, softness, and to help them through everything is what you need to remember.